Today, I will be pondering one of the world's greatest mysteries, a question so unknowable that even the greatest minds like Einstein, Grimace, and even Katy Perry Is math related to science? haven't been able to even fathom asking it as they fear the answer, as well as Todd Howard breaking into their home and installing Skyrim onto their smart fridge and stealing all their cheese. The question, of course, is can I beat Skyrim using only mud crabs? The rules I've set myself are that I cannot do any damage with something not mud crab related. I will be using a few mods that add some various crab amenities to my game to assist me on my journey through Skyrim. I will also avoid using overly cheese tactics, like the restoration potion loop glitch, as it goes against the spirit of this run. The difficulty will be legendary, with the Creation Club survival mod for maximum pain. I chose to be a high elf for this run, as they get a nice bonus to their magicka, as well as the highborn ability, which will come in handy for this playthrough. My two main sources of damage will be Conjuration and Destruction. The spells are Conjure King Mudcrab and Firebolt. But Blunu, you absolute buffoon, you eater of boogers. How is a Firebolt a Mudcrab, you ask? Well, my sweet summer subscriber, subscribe by the way. I have installed a mod that changes the Firebolt into a Mudcrab, thus making it technically fair play in this run. Despite having the alternate start mod, I did the vanilla intro. I did this so I could get my first attack power and take the Mage Stone to up my magic abilities as early as possible, as Shocker, a mud crab damage run does not do jack or shit to enemies. It's good. It's a good name. It's a good name for a man such as myself. Hey, you. You're finally awake. I begin escaping Helgen and watch Alduin absolutely delete this guy. Splat. and then realize how absolutely ridiculous this entire run is. <laughs> oh my god, they're all shooting mud crabs. I loot the dead Stormcloak and realize my first issue. I don't have any way to do damage for this first fight. I use my superior half-elf, half-crab intellect and run around aimlessly until I find the key granting me access to the door. Without even hesitating to help the person that saved me, I valiantly charge ahead leaving him to his fate. I end up just yeeting myself past every enemy down here as, again, I'm not allowed to do any damage. I loot the skeleton and eat him because I am insane. After leaving the dungeon, I remember that because I left Rayloff inside, I'm uncertain if the main quest will be able to continue. After waiting a bit, nothing changes, so I just kind of wander off and it figures it out by itself. Praise the Todd. I grab the mage stone and decide to nest for a bit by the river here as my crab instincts take control. Continuing down the river, I go full klepto on the local fish population and obtain my first mud crab summoning spellbook and gaze in awe at the beauty that is mud crabs fighting for me. Do you see what I'm doing to your game, Todd? Does it anger you? Will there be mud crabs in Star Citizen? I sure hope so. They better be called star crabs. I arrive at the Riverwood blacksmith and take great offense to him asking me questions and begin throwing all his stuff into the river. Because I am a mud crab, I cannot be held to the same moral standards as other sentient life forms. If anything, I'm the victim in this situation. After all, who does he think he is, owning things next to a body of water? I take part in the rich dialogue. We could count on you. I ought to get back to work before I'm and Gerder makes the mistake of giving the keys to her home to an absolute lunatic slash mud crab. I immediately go to work on stealing any and everything I possibly can in true mud crab fashion. I celebrate my new friendships. Rayloff is unfazed and continues with his drink. I then make friends with the rest of the family. I end up nesting more under a bridge in true mud crab fashion and spot my first friend. Their name is Sparky and they will be helping me on my quest. They are not a normal crab however as they are pink and can also use shouts no big deal definitely not OP don't even worry about it. We acquire our first piece of drip. I continue my way to white run and encounter these two. I immediately run into more mud crabs and watch in awe at the beauty of crab on crab violence. We valiantly assist in the fight with the giant. My mud crab appears to be running away, tactically of course. I 
I recast it and it promptly heads the fuck out once again. No worries though, as Sparky skitters on up and absolutely deletes the giant with its superior pinches. Arriving in Whiterun, I acquire my second piece of crab armor. I take a moment of respite and nest in the lovely poop stream of Whiterun. Naturally, my small crustacean brain is unable to resist the urge to create an absolute mess of the Jarl's palace. I assume my rightful place upon the alchemy bench as Farangar tells me his life story. On my way to my objective, this thief stops me and tells me he is robbing me. But I simply ignore him. Truly defeated, he decides that the entire conversation where he threatens to murder me didn't happen and we sort of meander off in different directions. I solve puzzles. We kill the spider. We kill even more spiders as I realize I have a mod on that spawns mini spiders when I open the egg sacs. This amuses me and almost kills me as a table is not a great spot to hide from a creature that shoots corrosive material. This results in the fight of my life against a creature the size of my foot. I continuously spawn more spiders as I genuinely want to see if there is in fact a limit. There was sadly a limit, around 10 or so spiders, and I move on to crabbier pastures. I get through a trap unscathed. Sparky is offended and uninstalls my life. I gain the tactical advantage and somehow don't die to my own stupidity. Sparky paralyzes me. I am simply collateral damage. It's his world, I'm just living in it. Oh, oh my God, he then so begins strong. to fight a mud crab he summoned and my mud crab as well. So that's one of the shouting mud crabs that you got, eh? <laughs> the dragon mud crabs? Oh my goodness. I nest in the stream, and Sparky makes short work of the Draugr boss. This one I turn quickly. <laughs> Very powerful. On my way to Whiterun, I get distracted by a wolf. Shortly after arriving, I say hi to everyone's favorite orphan. Mister, could you spare a coin? I think this is an improvement. What are you doing? Oh my god, leave the poor girl alone. <laughs> She's just a little girl. She just wants a coin, man. Poor Lucia. Oh, thank you. Divines, bless your kind heart. I acquire the crab bolt spell. I have gained enough money to fire crabs at people's heads. I go to the tower and immediately begin hucking crabs at a dragon, as any god fearing man crab hybrid would. Sparky absolutely goes bonkers and kills the dragon and begins wailing on Irileth. Unable to go around not starting shit, I get into a fight with a rhino. <laughs> and Irileth comes back for round two. Back in Whiterun, Irileth again decides to not let bygones be bygones, and Sparky proceeds to nuke all of Whiterun. <laughs> Sparky's going on a rampage. <laughs> yeah, he is. He's just killed oh, no, three you're... people, he's going after a fourth. No, oh, no, you're in Whiterun, that's not good. Him and, him and Aerolith have beef, apparently. You're killing, you're killing characters. You're killing named NPCs. <laughs> One of them, the goddamn blacksmith. Oh my god. You made a save before starting this, right? <laughs> oh my god, there goes half the town. Good job. You fucking killed everybody. <laughs> Realizing this situation is entirely unsalvageable, I head to Markarth to make a new friend to help us in our journey. I save the lady from the foreskin assassin because I am a generous crab man. I will take your fur armor. 
I acquire my new friend, the Dwarven Mudcrab. Sadly, he cannot fight, but he is able to hold 20 carry weight, so that made it all seem worth it. I yet again let my intrusive thoughts win, as I stuffed the foreskin assassin into a drawer. <laughs> Look at what I just did. I browse the local shops and steal things because I simply don't have a moral compass. Oh no! Oh my god! These wisps begin beating the shit out of me, and my pink crab refuses to do anything to help me. He is clearly sick of my shit. I'm watching this firewood roll down this hill while there's a big clusterfuck of people up there. Bye, firewood. I am easily entertained. At our final destination, I begin fighting the King Mud Crab to obtain its summoning spell and spend an absolutely insane amount of time running around a tree stump. Stunning. You're stunning, courageous, and brave. That's what you are. Oh, he pinched my leg. <laughs> I died. Yeah, say quick. Oh, it's Tori, Tori. Boing, boing, boing. Oh, that, that was what did it? The single canister? I'm gonna eat it. I'm gonna eat it and you can't stop me, Dizzy. Be oh, like, no, no Bando, don't. don't don't you don't don't put that in your poor body, your poor crab body. Don't don't do it. Get a Sparky! After dying, I ended up sleeping to reset my cold meter and regroup with Sparky to have a rematch with the King Mud Crab. Ah crab! Ah crab! Ah crab! Ah crab! I'm all out of crabs. I gotta wait for them. Oh, oh, oh my god, Spike Sparky almost killed me. We are victorious. Halt. That's privileged information. Now, move along. Oh. Mm -hmm. Quick save. I mean, I think I think I sh I think I could be trusted with this information, sir. Um, they're gonna kill you. <laughs> <laughs> Get the hell out of there. Are you guys? Good? Are you guys good? Get that horker. You know get, any get make some horker. Oh, oh, I done did it now. Oh, I pissed off the Imperials. I freed that guy and now he's getting murdered. <laughs> I'm the protagonist. Oh, oh, horker! I watch in awe as this newly free Nordic man throws hands with a horker trying to flop for its life. This might be peak Skyrim. Oh, oh man. Oh, we're, we're coming down to the wire here. Horker's running out of running out of land here to run to. Get it, get him, Sparky, get him, finish him, yeah! Every day, we stray further from Crab. She really said, alright, I'm head out. Now in solitude, I immediately begin oh, to cause problems. I love how no one cares that I'm carrying this guy's corpse down the street. They shan't dare stop Crab, man. Oh, look at me, jumping around. He's jumping for joy, he's happy. Are you feeling alright? Look at how happy he is. Eh! <laughs> I think he's <laughs> There we go. Yeah, there you go. You wouldn't have a few minutes to run down to the docks with time. I'll help you guys. I'll, I'm, I'm gonna help. I'm, I'm butchering. He's butchering. You shouldn't leave weapons laying around. Is he? Someone could get hurt. I'm being if I see you butchering, is he? That's someone if I made myself clear. I'm, I'm sorry. See that it doesn't happen again. I'm sorry. We're sorry. With your blood. Just hit the oh no, everyone's angry at me! Oh, I'm sorry! No! Save me, Sparky! Get him, Sparky! Yeah, pitch him! Pitch his dick off! Yeah! Yeah, Krabby! Get his foreskin! <laughs> Get him by his foreskin! Oh, we're taking everything! Oh. Is that a body in the well? <laughs> no. There's a body in the well. I saw that. Don't you dare gas uh. me. Ah, uh, crap! You have a bounty everywhere now. <laughs> You're like, oh, I have a bounty here. Let's walk across the other side of the map so I don't have a bounty. And immediately get a bounty. <laughs> immediately get a bounty? Because I was being Thanks, a buddy. shitter. Truly, Sparky is a force to be reckoned with. That's going to have to do it for this video. I'm still getting reacquainted with all my software. And this is also the first time I've, I've done a video in the style, that being kind of voiced over scripted stuff. Nonetheless, this will definitely end up being a, a two to four part series. Thank you so much for watching. Stay hydrated, and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, a book!